It was first told in the form of a kabuki play in 1825. There once was a man named Loman who was married to a loving and devoted wife named Oiwa. He was a ronin and a samurai who no longer had a master because he had a murderous past, and now he was a poor umbrella maker. Since they were no longer financially stable, then his neighbor lured him into an evil scheme. My daughter Um is in love with you if only you weren't already married. You could be with her and be wealthy beyond belief. Loman was a garbage human and so he liked the sound of that and so he plotted ways to kill his wife. He didn't want to be charged with a murder so he had to figure out a way to make it look like natural causes. He decided that he was gonna poison her. They sat at the dinner table together. Then he offered her a spoon. It's medicine to help you get stronger, for you and our baby. She was a little hesitant, but poor Oiwa was so trusting that she took the spoon and drank the poison. At first nothing happened, but then her hair began to fall out into clumps. Her eyes drooped and began to fill with blood. She fell into a coma, which really pissed Loman off. She fell into a coma, which really pissed Loman off because he wanted her to die already. Days later she awoke. She has almost forgotten what had happened, but then she went to the bathroom and saw what she had become. She had lost her beauty and her baby. Loman still tried to keep up his concerned husband act. Let's go on a walk to your favorite place, he said. So they walked to the edge of a cliff overlooking at the entire town. It really was a beautiful view. And while Oiwa was trying to take it all in with her blood-filled eyes, he ousted her over the edge. Loman arranged an elaborate funeral for Oiwa to throw everybody off his scent. But now that she was out the picture, he began to 9k wedding with his new wife. Now I will be rich again and everything will be perfect, he thought to himself. Loman thought he had seen the last of Oiwa. He could not have been more wrong. He began to see Oiwa's face everywhere. She appeared on a lantern and so he shattered it. She appeared in a mirror too, and he shattered that, too. But he wouldn't let Oiwa ruin his new life with him. On the day of his wedding, Oiwa had not appeared. The ceremony went perfectly. Loman turned to his new wife, but it was not him looking at him back at him, it was Oiwa.